Hi guys, Takir Shabay here with AfterBuzz TV. We have the Sarah Gray here talking about The Order, Netflix The Order. We were just talking off camera, this is your first con. Yeah, so, first time. What were you most excited about for your first con? Uh, I think initially it was just being able to meet the fans. Uh, there's so much support for the show and love and it's just the best thing ever and we're all here for the same reason. Also, the costumes. Yeah. I always wanted to see people walking around dressed. Like, the costumes are so amazing oh. here. So I, I haven't seen too much yet, but I'm hoping to get a peek on the floor. Yeah. It hasn't been too crazy. It's almost like... Hollywood, our version, uh, we're from LA, and so I feel like Hollywood is where you see all this crazy, but the, the crazy is okay here. So I love that yeah. you love that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it, yeah, it's madness, but it's a good kind of madness. <laughs> good. So you mentioned the fans. Obviously, fans were like raging over the end of season one. I'm a little disappointed. I too, though. I was too. And I read I that. Like, Alyssa, like, are you kidding me? But then when I like looked into it, I was like, it makes sense, because otherwise, it was such an ultimate. Like, he would have died. I was saving his life. You took his memory. No, but I'm upset you too. Didn't. I'm upset too. Okay. But <laughs> I get it. But um, well, Alyssa's character was obviously really hurt. Like, yeah. I mean, she walked away really, truly hurt. I mean, do you yeah. think is that a sign of weakness? Like, do you think that she will be able to kind of contain that? I don't think it's a sign of weakness because I think um, to be a great leader you have to have a heart yeah. you know and and Alyssa definitely has a heart she has a great moral compass mm -hmm. and so I think that's what's so beautiful about Alyssa is is her heart can definitely drive her decisions yeah. and that's why I want to see her move up in the order and uh, yeah I think that's what I love about Alyssa yeah. do you think that Alyssa will connect to Vera the way that she connected to Edward since there's kind of I mean we presume like a power shift there is there, I think there is gonna yeah. be a bit of a power shift uh, seeing as he's not there uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. We've seen characters come out. Uh, yeah, that's true, and I don't even know myself. Like, yeah, I have, I, I don't even know what's happening in the writing. <laughs> we haven't even started filming yet. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see the dynamic between Alyssa and Vera going into season two. I think it's definitely difficult because Vera put her in a really difficult position. Yeah. Um, so I don't know if there would be tension there or what's gonna happen, but they're definitely, I can say they're definitely gonna be working together, continuing into season two, yeah. Do you think, um, cause your character, Alyssa said that magic has an expiration date. So, and, and obviously a sacrifice has to be given. Do you think that the power of the knights, the werewolf wanting to expose is maybe a little bit stronger than the magic that's keeping their memories from coming to light? Very insightful, good thought. Um, yeah, <laughs> I think that's a great question. Uh, could be. I think that's something that might need to be explored. Mm, yeah. Hey, my writers. I'm just going to have to find out. <laughs> well, last question. I know Alyssa doesn't necessarily have an after kill drink, but if she did, because I strongly feel that Jack would definitely influence this decision, if Alyssa's character had an after kill drink, what would it be? Uh, that's a great question. What would Alyssa's drink She's be? a little reserved. So yeah. Maybe a little something on the sweeter side. A little, little Ooh, salty. Maybe like a Bellini. Okay. <laughs> a little sweet and kind of hit you at the last minute. Yeah. A Bellini. Guard. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. That was amazing. <laughs>